Pardon me. Did you have business with Sawa-sensei? Yeah. The faculty meeting's over, right? It just wrapped up. But Sawa-sensei went home in the middle of it, about an hour ago. What? Apparently she got a call from her apartment manager, saying her place was broken into. Broken into? She told me to tell you that if you came around. Okay, then. Do you think you could give me her contact info or something? No, I don't think I can. Oh, I'll just give her a quick call. One moment. No, she's not answering. They're probably busy. But I guess she's home then? I'd say so. Her place is within walking distance. It is? Sawa-sensei lives in Ijincho? Uh, yes, but I really shouldn't be giving that kind of info out. Sure, I appreciate the need for privacy. You've been a big help. What's the matter, Yagami-san? Is there still something you need? Well, do you think you could tell me Sawa-sensei's address? Come again? Not too long ago, she got a call that her apartment was broken into. And another teacher tried to call her, but she wouldn't answer. So... what? Are you going to go check on her yourself? At her place? She's within walking distance, isn't she? I believe so, but this is a young woman, living by herself. I shouldn't be giving you her address without her permission. We're detectives. Give us a bit of time, I'm sure we can find out ourselves. But on the other hand, that wouldn't be best for either party now, would it? Then can't you just ask her yourself tomorrow? Chairman, you're aware of the Hiro Mikoshiba murder footage, right? Yes, of course I am. But from what I've heard from police sources, it's very likely that video was faked. Well, I have it on good authority it wasn't faked at all. So for the sake of argument, let's say the video's real. And that Ahara is the one behind having posted it deliberately. He's got the criminal affairs department saying it's probably faked. So the police are playing right into his hand. And let's say his motive in all this is to avenge his son's suicide justice for his bullying that he never got. Now wait just a moment. We proved in court that no bullying had taken place here. Sad as it was, the trial concluded that bullying wasn't what drove poor Eharakun to suicide. Actually, before Toshiro-kun killed himself, 
Sawa-sensei reported a bullying incident to his homeroom teacher. What? But at the trial, she wasn't able to testify to that. She had no choice but to deny the whole thing. From Ahara's perspective, that was unforgivable. And after all that, Mikoshiba was murdered, and now Sawa-sensei isn't picking up her phone following a break-in at her place. What are you implying here? It's like you're saying she's going to be next. I just want to check up on her. If it turns out the break-in isn't linked, I'll turn right around. And I'll make sure nobody knows the chairman gave me her address. Well... Fine. I understand.
Kiwana? What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> that was quick. I guess we couldn't ask for a better piece of bait. Kick us off, Akutsu. The bullying that pushed Toshiro Ehara over the edge echoes a previous tragedy. Years before, another boy attempted suicide and remains comatose. Yagami makes his way to Sawa Sensei's apartment, hoping to get some answers that will shed some light on the incident. But, as if by coincidence, he encounters Kuwana instead. What ties could an earnest school teacher and an underground handyman share? Kawana? What the hell are you doing here? You forget to mention you had a connection to Sawa Sensei? Or what? Awkward. Do you or not? And don't pretend you're just here to fix a toilet. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Now it's RK on top of you? Yagami, we've got more incoming. What is this? These idiots aren't after you. It's me they really want. And I just walked into their trap. What could they possibly want with you? To come all the way from Kamurocho? Akutsu, what is this about? Why do you want her? Looks like they don't feel like talking about it. Get these two fuckers first. <sighs> but try to leave them breathing if you can. Yeah! 
out of our way, Yagami! I could say the same thing to you! Sawa Sensei, you okay? Yes, I'll call the police. That would help. Hey, let's go, Yagami! You go ahead. You're the one they're after, aren't you? I owe you one. Take Yagami out! Just leave him to us. There's backup downstairs. We'll be right behind you. There he goes. Now that it's just us, shall we start from the top? Coming here was the last mistake you'll ever make, you fuck. You're fucking dead, asshole! Sawa so Sensei. Yes. Don't open your door until the cops get here, okay? I have to go make sure Kuana's all right. But what about you, Yagami-san? I'm fine. But actually, how do you and Kuana know each other? Sawa so Sensei? Fine. Just please stay in your room, okay? trying to get in our way, are you? Yeah, I am. But I'm in a hurry myself, so I'm not gonna hold back, all right? Eh, yeah. big words for a little shit. You're nothing without your friend Kaito.
Huh? Huh? This motherfucker. Hey, check it out. It's Yagami. Hey, trying to screw with RK again? Then you better be ready to get your ass beat. Aren't you the one screwing with me? Besides, I'm not behind any of this. Alright, enough of your bullshit. You better say a quick prayer, asshole. Kuana! Hey, been waiting for you. You a slow runner or something? Uh, they got here before I did. Yagami, sticking your nose in our business again. How about I stick you in an oil barrel and see if you float? That's a halfway decent threat this close to the sea. Ooh, the great detective sounds intimidated. If we make it out of this, I've got some questions that need answering. Sawa sensei won't talk. I wouldn't worry about the future. <laughs> Your life is coming to an end soon. Yagami! Stay down, would you? Huh. Not happening. Good luck, Yagami Kun. So just start. <laughs> Show me what you got! 
Hey, Kiwana! Oh, fine. At least you could have done to say thank you. <laughs> we ain't done, Yagami! <sighs> I get you want to play tough, but... Do you ever quit? It's not over till it's over, you little shit. What the hell's that? Sawa-sensei! Stop it! Someone's here too? I wouldn't have expected you and this bitch to be connected. What the hell do you think you're doing? This has nothing to do with her. You're the detective, aren't you? You figure it out. Huh? Time's up. Toss his phone before we go any further. His GPS will lead his friends straight to us. Hey, 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 hey. Yagami. Yagami. Rise and shine. shine. There he is. I was starting to worry you might not wake up. My men are glorified amateurs at this stuff. The technique for knocking someone out takes practice to get down. Soma? Oh good, no brain damage. Man. I'm glad you're tough as nails. Now we can get to the fun part, huh? Yagami-san here just saved your asses. You wouldn't be standing if he didn't come around. There's no way we could have known this asshole would show up. Not my fault everything went to shit. This was your operation anyway. Fine, it's okay. But you need to make sure you keep your boys in check from here on. Huh? <laughs> Did that hurt? <sighs> it hurt, right? See? You all see? First comes pain, and then the fear. You have to start with pain. Fear won't work if you haven't given them reason. Slap them around, but you do need to keep them conscious. Enough to keep the fear alive. That's how you get what you want to hear. Am I right? I can tell when someone's lying. My superiors found that useful. Probably why they kept me around. Now, no playing dumb and none of your tricks. Don't underestimate me. Yagami-san. So, 
What's the deal between you and that lady teacher? Uh, we're colleagues, as of a few days ago. The fuck are you talking about? Stay out of this, Akutsu. Huh? I'm telling you to shut up and leave this to me. I'm focusing. Besides, Yagami-san here is telling us the truth. <sighs> He's just being a little vague, is all. So what do you mean, Sawa-sensei is your colleague? I was asked to look into a bullying case at Serio High. That's all I meant by it. How about that? What'd you do to her? Oh, she's sound asleep now, I'm sure. Our business isn't with her, anyway. You want Kuwana? Right. About that. You keep calling him Kuwana. That's not who we know him as. Huh? Kuwana is his alias. A fake name? That's right. So tell me, what is he? What do you know him for? <sighs> you get two seconds to answer. What does this Kuwana guy do? He's a handyman. In Ijincho. Everybody knows him. He's been taking jobs in the area for a long time now. A handyman, huh? Well, from the way it sounds, you haven't known each other very long. <sighs> yeah. His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? Well, there you have it. Your face says you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> so then, any idea where your Kuwana-san went? We have some business with him. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. Of course you wouldn't. And I suppose that's not a lie. But it's probably more accurate to say you don't know where he is, either. Turns out you don't have a damn thing on him. <sighs> Shit. Know what that means? <sighs> it means you have no more use for me. Shame to be smart and still lose, huh? Now I got a question for you. Did you really think you'd walk out of here alive? Or is it gonna be in a body bag? The fear in your eyes tells me everything I need to know. And you're probably right. <laughs> you aren't gonna enjoy what little time you have left. It's gonna be painful as hell. Because I'll be the one enjoying it. What brings you to a gene show and after a teacher? And why Kawana too? How do you even know him? I could tell you this little part and give a good night. Except I ain't feeling so generous. You didn't think we were done yet, did you? <laughs> hey! Fire that thing up. Get him on his feet. And I don't want to see him squirming. Not every day you get a chance like this. Record this shit. Yo. How quickly can a chainsaw kill a guy should be the video title when we upload it. This kind of shit gets so many views. Am I right, Yagami? We'll go in slow and get your fingers all cut to shreds. <laughs> we'll take that up to the right wrist 
Then we'll switch over to the left side. Right forearm, left forearm. Why don't we make this formal? Take first dibs. You show us how it's done. You, you want me to do it? Time to man up. We gotta show the world what happens when you fuck with R.K. Killing shits like him is what puts hair on your chest, guys. Just try not to kill him until everyone gets a turn. Get to work! But, but sir... Figure it out. Akutsu. He won't do it himself, you know. <laughs> Recording it puts the evidence of a murder out there on video. And he won't be on it. But you guys will be. Who do you think they'll come for, moron? You still talking? Fill <laughs> your intestines on the fucking floor! Yo! We've got company! Kaito? How the hell? How'd you fucking find us here? Uh, Kaito's... Secure? Suppose I ought to thank you boys for keeping talk nice and comfortable, Akutsu. Yeah, but we were just getting to the grand finale. You two can have front row seats. I'll pass. This show kinda sucks. Block all the doors! These three are fucking dead. You hear me, boys? I don't want anyone leaving the building! Good call. I don't want anyone leaving either. Not till I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a tough guy, Talk. Feel free to take a breather if you need to. I don't know about that, Kaito-san. He's got that look. That's the face he makes when he's got a score to settle and some ass to kick. You still haven't gotten your fill of this, Yagami? <laughs> I'll admit, this is kind of fun, man. Maybe killing you would be a mistake. I've got an even better idea. I'll tie you up and keep you as a pet. You know what? I think I could punch you as many times as I want right now. In circumstances such as they are, no one could even blame me. Huh? I'm saying I've earned a little payback, Akutsu. Let's go!
hell does Arke want with Kuma? What did he do? Tell me how Sawa Sensei and Kawana are connected. You ask too many questions, you fucking asshole. Tell me, why go to all the effort in Kamurojo to find Shinya Kawai? What are you trying to do? Oh, shit. I'll get you! Man, that guy's invincible. And he's faster than he looks. Asshole. He knew it was a lost cause, so he took off at the first opportunity. I'm guessing that's why he was holding back. Are you serious? He couldn't be that sharp. Nah. He's definitely got some skills. And we better start taking him seriously. I had no idea you went through so much. I'm just glad you had the mind to tip off Kaito-san that I wasn't picking up your calls. That got Tsukumo to track my phone over GPS and locate me using the town's security cameras. Long story short, you saved me. I had to try something. I'm the one who dragged you into this, after all. But you know, the first person to suspect something was Higashi-san. He thought it was strange for you to be suddenly unavailable. <laughs> Better thank him, too. By the way, I'd like to share the details I recently gathered on Shinya Kawai. Kawai was a bully at Kurokawa Academy. Five years ago, he was abducted by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. A worker at a girl's bar witnessed this, and based on that, RK apparently deduced that Kawai was murdered. Got it. And I suggest you steer clear of RK as much as possible. They fly off the handle faster than the Yakuza. Right. I never imagined things would get this dangerous. We just got back to Sawa Sensei's apartment. I thought RK was in Kamrocho looking for Kawai. But they came to ambush a handyman named Kawana. Did you say handyman? Yeah, but he plays a wider field than your average Mr. Fixit. He's popular on the Jincho Underground. Even Kawana was a fake name. And this mystery man has some connection to Sawa-sensei? Yeah, and I'm about to ask her about him directly. I need to get everything I can out of her this time. Understood. We're still dealing with a lot of unknowns, so take care of yourself, okay? I'll be alright. I'm with two guys I can trust now. Yo, what's Sawa-sensei's room number? Just hold your horses. Coming with you. <laughs> 